<laughs> hey, so the announcement happened. Oh my gosh. And I, I kind of expected them to disappoint us a little yeah, bit. So yeah. I mean, things, things are going to be different. That's cool. Uh, but stick with us because we're going to talk about week one. We're going to talk about uh, the Run Disney website and uh, the information that it's showing there mm -hmm. for the possibility of signing up for the marathon 2022. Wow. Yep. Here we go. I can't believe it. Training begins. So it's week one of our Apparently. training. Yeah. As of today, we've decided it's week yeah. one. Week one. Week one. We're trying to figure out, are we going to do Goofy? Are we going to do Dopey Challenge? Well, we're just really kind of hoping that we're <laughs> able to, you know, get in. Yeah, we're um, cautiously optimistic that we'll actually yeah. have a, a spot. Yeah. I suspect, just a hunch, it might be lower capacity yeah, than like, years past. Oh, and in years past, it still sells out in a couple yeah. minutes. A lot of the information so, is, you know, uh, we'll let you know as it gets closer to race time. But take a look at the Run Disney website right here. You'll notice you go here, you see the information, and then you click, and it'll give you the dates uh, for all the races and uh, what to expect. Mm -hmm. So we're really hoping we get two spots Yeah. <laughs> uh, for 2022. Yeah. Uh, and you know, uh, it'd be a really good idea that if you're planning for it, you better start working on your accommodations now. Oh, yeah, I saw some stuff. Yeah, so, uh, you know. Yeah. Anyway, but the excitement is, here we are, we're going to start training. Uh, we went for our first uh, kind of little training run today after a nice uh, walk because Coach... Millie, yeah, Millie comes first. <laughs> coach <laughs> said, I need to go for a walk first. So yeah. we did that. And then we went for a 97% uh, a humidity uh, short run it today. It was so gross. Yeah, it was, but it felt great, right? Because training, and we, you know, we're doing this, and and we're we're uh, we're uh, letting all of you know. So it's really nice to get back into the rhythm. Uh, uh, what can we expect? With what? Well, with everything, you know, it was really humid today. So we talked a little bit about uh, some of the gear uh, that we're working on. I tried. Here's a here's one for you. Oh, I uh, have one. Go yeah, ahead. I tried new socks. Uh, one of the things that we read uh, uh, in terms of like uh, training and running is if your feet aren't feeling well and you were fitted for uh, running shoes, take a look at your socks. So I did. I was wearing extra cushion socks and I decided to try uh, just very thin breathable socks and it feels a heck of a lot better. So again, you know, there, there are things to, uh, to do if you pay attention to your body. You know, my feet were saying, eh, this doesn't feel right. The shoes are right. I love the shoes. Uh, change my socks. Man, I feel so much better. What about you? So, similar situation. Also, my shoes. Uh, so, I, before the last marathon, was fitted in glycerin, Brooks glycerin. Yeah. Um, at that point, I think it was like 17 or 18. Um, and they're great. I know exactly what very large size to buy to accommodate marathon training uh, and the swelling that happens in your feet and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a story for another day is what happened to my left big toenail at the last marathon. They were big, but not big enough. All better now. Just took a year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I recently you know, burned through my most recent pair, bought a new pair by this point, 18 was out, 19 was in. I'm pretty sure those numbers are correct, if not all. So Brooks footnote. Glycerin 19. Um, and I also have super high arches, so I get inserts to go in them to help with my, mm -hmm. uh, to help with my arch support and my general well-being, foot well-being. Um, but I was noticing this time, uh, whenever we would go just for a little run, and we haven't been running long distances, nothing more than like, three or three and a half miles, mm -hmm. like pretty short. But my feet would fall asleep, and, or my toes, not my whole feet, but my toes would fall asleep. And that was something that happened on the last shoes that I wore, which were some kind of New Balance. I don't remember what they were, but basically, um, you know, through working with a, our, one of our local shoe stores, we determined that it was too narrow in the toes, and that's what made my little 
toes fall asleep. Yeah. I've never had that problem with the glycerins until this one. And I thought, oh geez, did they change them? Are they narrower? Did something happen? And I kept like comparing, you know, sole to sole, my old shoes, my new shoes, and no, everything's exactly the same. I don't get it. Finally figured out today, I looked at my foot and realized that my big toe was like right at the end of the shoe, which is just not right. And I took out my insert and put it back in and I think it was just kind of in there wonky. So I've gone on several runs with toes falling asleep because my, my insert was like cramming my foot down towards the toe of the shoe. So problem solved. That's great. Cause yeah. I wasn't especially looking forward to, um, you know, having to buy something new since we just got these ones. So that's the deal though. You know, uh, the, uh, a marathon 26.2 miles. And, and I read something that I think kind of encapsulates the whole thing. Uh, a marathon isn't 26.2 miles. It's all the hundreds of miles mm -hmm. that you run leading up to it. So pay attention to your body. And you know, in one of our videos, we talked about the way uh, our feet were, um, were uh, 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 like looked at with the new technology. And we got this 3D model of our feet to help make sure that we get the right shoes. It's crazy, it actually so, looked like his feet. Yeah, it was awesome. So I'll put a link up here to that video. Uh, and stay with us because week one, we're really excited about the possibility of Walt Disney World Marathon 2022. It's exciting. It's going to be different. That's what they've said. It's going to be different. Details are forthcoming, but stick with us. Keep asking us questions and uh, telling us how you're doing because it's, it's very exciting. You know, it doesn't matter what we do. Everything, and it's always an adventure with you. So it begins. <laughs> uh...